In this video, we explore the bandwidth and waveform quality of a 30 MHz analog oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is tested with different frequency signals ranging from 4 MHz to 84 MHz. The comparison results are then summarized at the end. For MHz input signal, Six megahertz input signal. Nine megahertz input signal. Twelve megahertz input signal. Eighteen megahertz input signal. Twenty four megahertz input signal. Thirty six megahertz input signal. Forty two megahertz input signal. Fifty six megahertz input signal. Eighty four megahertz input signal. Let's check the test result. The input signal is a square wave, 
consisting of the fundamental frequency plus an infinite number of odd harmonics of that frequency. For example, the odd harmonics of a 6 MHz square wave are 18 MHz, 30 MHz, 42 MHz. In general, to accurately measure an AC waveform, the oscilloscope must have a bandwidth that exceeds the frequency components of the waveform. The bandwidth limitation of an oscilloscope can affect the waveform of the input signal. As the frequency of the test signal increases, the limited bandwidth gradually distort the waveform. In this test, for the 6 MHz square wave input signal, the output looks like a square wave, for the 9 MHz square wave, the output still looks like a square wave, for the 18 MHz square wave, the output is distorted and looks more like a sine wave. This distortion is due to the lack of high-frequency harmonics that are filtered out by the oscilloscope's bandwidth limitation. As a rule of thumb, the bandwidth of the oscilloscope should be at least five times higher than the frequency of the input signal. This will allow it to capture up to the fifth harmonic of the square wave signal with minimal signal attenuation. For this particular oscilloscope under test, the 9 MHz square wave looks pretty good, and the 12 MHz square wave is still recognizable and workable to me. When the frequency of the test signal exceeds the bandwidth of the oscilloscope, the base-to-top voltage of the waveform on the oscilloscope decreases. For the 36 MHz signal, the voltage decreases to 83% of the input signal, which corresponds to less than a 3 dB decrease. This aligns with the claim in the user manual that the bandwidth of this oscilloscope is conservatively rated at 30 MHz. As the frequency continues to increase, the input signal, similar to a sine wave in this case, will eventually be totally distorted on the oscilloscope, resembling a DC signal with a much lower voltage. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.